Hey friends, Marcy Williams here at M Theory Yoga in Ridgeland, Mississippi. I have a short practice for you today and we're focusing on two of the primary actions of Bakasana or Crow Pose. The first thing we're gonna be working on is the action of the shoulders, of the pushing into the mat and really broadening through the upper back. The second action we're gonna be focusing in on is the action of the inner thighs drawing toward one another. Uh, what that action does, a couple of things. The first thing, the action of the inner thighs moving in toward one another really helps you access the muscles of your core. The muscles of your core in Bakasana really work to contain everything nice and tight and center so that your shoulders can do their work efficiently. The other thing that that inner hip or that inner thigh engagement does in Bakasana is it helps hold your legs in place so it's not just dead weight on your shoulders or on the backs of your arms. Uh, dead weight is a heavy weight. Anyone who's ever tried to pick up a sleeping child versus a child that's actually asking you to pick them up knows that they're a lot heavier when they're asleep. So the concept is the same. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to it. We're gonna start on our backs today. Go ahead and lay down on your back. And just take a moment here and check in. Bend the knees, feet to the mat. Take a moment and just Appreciate the fact that you made it to your mat today. Good. Now, from here, take your feet, and I want you to connect your inner heel and the uh, big toe side of both feet. As you do that, just open up the knees a little bit, so about shoulder width. You can even take a look and see where your knees are. With your inner heel and uh, the big toe side of your inner foot, start to press the feet into each other. So inner heels are pressing, big toes are pressing. Just feel what, that, what happens as they press into each other. You should start to feel some engagement move all the way up through your inner leg. Good, keep the feet together now. I want you to bring the knees up. Good, so feet are squeezing together, knees up. As you exhale, I want you to lift the chest off the mat and then stretch the arms in between your knees. Good, so lift the chest, press the hands forward. With the arms, press a little bit into the inner knees and then with the knees, I want you to squeeze the arms. So right now, you're in a reclined crow pose. Good, feel the engagement of the inner hips. Feel the broadness in your upper back. Nice. Let that go. Reach behind your thighs. Cross your ankles. Come into all fours. And then from all fours, just take a few rounds of cat and cow here. Inhale, chest lifts up. Let the belly drop. Lift the hips. Exhale, round the spine for cat pose. Pause here for a moment. Feel the broadness in the upper back. So you're pushing into the floor. And that's what we're going to be doing when we get into our crow pose. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, around the spine. Good. This time, inhale, find a neutral spine. Press through the palms, but not that same extreme roundness that you had in your cat pose. And go ahead and step back to plank. Good. Just a cycle or two of breath here in plank. Thighs are firm, glutes are firm, and neck stays long. So keeping your gaze toward the top of your mat. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Couple cycles of breath here, pedal out the feet, begin to loosen up the backs of the legs. Nice. And then from here, I want you to stretch the right leg up to the sky. As you exhale, bring the thigh to your chest, move your shoulders over your wrists. Push into the mat, round the spine here. So again, same shape as crow. Inhale, send the leg back. This time, exhale, step it all the way through. Left knee to the mat, a couple times, just a little 
little bit of dynamic movement, shift forward and back. Good, shift forward now. We're gonna come up to a low lunge. Walk it up to the thigh. Front rim of the pelvis lifts up. Right foot is firm, it's pulling back. Left foot is pressing down and pulling forward. Keep that stretch up. Low lunge on Johnny Asana. And then from your low lunge, turn your palms to face forward. As you exhale, pull the arms down into cactus. So elbows are coming in line with your shoulders. And then from here, I want you to draw your elbows together in front of your face. Bring your inner wrists together, and then your pinkies are touching, and your palm, both palms are facing you. Good, stay with this for a breath or two here. I want you to think about drawing your forearms away from your face. So, as you draw the elbows forward, as you draw the forearms away from you, you should feel some broadness in the upper back. And you should also start to feel the engagement of the shoulders, that, the squeeze in your chest. Good, inhale, release, stretch up one more time. Exhale, frame the foot, let's step to plank. Inhale in your plank. As you exhale, lower the knees, come all the way down, cobra pose. Inhale, cobra, lift the chest. With the hands, grab the mat, pull it up. Nice, down dog, exhale. Good, and then pedal out the feet here, take a moment, check in. Let's go to the other side. Inhale, left leg stretches up. As you exhale, bring the thigh into the chest, move the shoulders over the wrist, press into the mat, feel the roundness and the broadness in the upper back. Good, inhale, take it up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through, right knee down. And then just a few times, a little bit of dynamic movement. Shift forward and back. Good. Shift forward. Come up to the thigh. Take a moment. A nice long spine. Left foot's pressing down, driving back. Right foot, right knee is pressing down, driving forward. Sweep the arms up. Anjani in a low lunge. Turn the palms forward as you exhale. Pull the arms into cactus. Elbows are going to come in line with the shoulders. And then you're going to squeeze the elbows together again. So inner wrist touch if you can. Elbows touch if you can. Draw the forearms away. Draw the elbows away. Stay with this action for a breath or two. And as you do, notice the feeling on the upper back, that roundness. And notice that strong engagement in the shoulders. So the chest is really working hard here as you squeeze the arms together. Inhale, stretch back up. Exhale, plank pose. Inhale, plank. And then let's come all the way down again for cobra. Lift the chest, cobra. With the palms, pull the mat back. Down dog. Really nice here. Inhale in your down dog. Look forward. As you exhale, step or hop. Find a forward fold at the top of your mat. Just like a breath or two here. Let this be nice and relaxed and loose. So maybe you sway side to side. Maybe you shake out the neck. Maybe circle the wrist. Good. As you're ready, come to center. Inhale, halfway lift, slide your chest forward, draw your shoulders back. Good, so really opposite action of what we'll be focusing on today. You want a nice long spine, a nice lifted chest. As you exhale, fold, relax the head, and then drive through the legs. Inhale, stretch all the way up. Urdhva Hastasana. Bring the palms together, thumbs to the breastbone. So we are going to move through some low lunge salutations really to help warm up the body more and to also focus on finding that rhythmic breath. On your next inhale, stretch the arms up. As you exhale, fold, hinge at the hips, release the head. Inhale, halfway lift, 
slide the chest forward. Exhale, take the right leg back, drop the right knee down. Inhale, stretch up, low lunge. Exhale, frame the foot, step the plank. Inhale, plank. As you exhale, lower to the mat for cobra pose. Inhale, cobra, lift the chest. Down dog, exhale, really nice. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, step the foot all the way through, come to a low lunge. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, hands to the mat, step into your forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Refold, exhale. Good, strong legs drive you all the way up. One more round. Exhale, right back into your fold, left leg loops. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, left leg back, left knee down. Inhale, low lunge, on Janyasana. Exhale, frame the foot, plank. Inhale in your plank, and then to the floor as you exhale for cobra pose. Inhale, chest lifts up, and then exhale, downward facing dog. Last lunge, inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, step the foot through, right knee to the mat. Inhale, stretch to the ceiling. As you exhale, frame the foot, step into your forward fold. Half lift, inhale. Refold as you exhale. Good, strong legs bring you all the way back up. Bring the palms together, thumbs to the breastbone as you exhale. Really nice, stay here a moment, check in. Try to maintain that breath. We're just going to do one sun A, and then we're going to move on. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, fold, hinge at the hips. Half lift, inhale, chest moves forward. As you exhale, step to plank. Inhale in your plank, and then as you exhale, chaturanga, or just lower to the floor. Inhale, up dog or cobra, either one. Exhale, downward facing dog. Really nice. Take a moment, check it in your downward dog. Try to maintain that rhythmic pace of the salutations. I really love salutations for just the rhythm and the ability and the ease to maintain those deep inhalations and those deep exhalations. It's also a great way to warm up the body. All right, inhale, look forward. As you exhale, step or hop, forward fold. From your forward fold, bend the knees, inhale, come into Utkatasana, chair pose. Draw those thigh bones back, draw those hip bones back, but keep the chest lifting. And then from here, take the arms just right out in front of you. Stretch the arms forward as if you're going to really give, like you have something to give to someone. Like here, here's this pie. And then we're going to take it into eagle arms. So the left arm is going to slide underneath the right. I want you to bring your palms together. And then lift the elbows up in line with the shoulders. And then just like we did in the low lunge, where I want you to draw the elbows and the forearms away from the face. So you're still getting that same broadness and that stretch in between your scapula here. But now your arms are holding each other in place. So a little less work on the chest muscles. Good, from here let's add the legs. So left leg lifted up. Cross it over your right. Toes can come to the mat. Foot can hang out in the space. Or you can wrap the foot behind your right ankle. Ooh, stay with this. Elbows lift, elbows move away. Nice broad upper back, just like you want in crow. Good, inhale, unwind, stand tall. And then as you exhale, step the feet out. We're going to go to into Malasana or your yogi squat. So in your Malasana, I want your chest to be lifted in the spine long. So unlike crow, but I want to take your elbows into your inner thighs and open up the inner thighs. Then as you open up the inner thighs, create the action of the um, inner thighs hugging the elbows. So again, that inner thigh engagement, that squeeze to center that helps contain the legs and helps access the core in your crow pose. Nice. From here, fold, 
walk the feet back in. Bend the knees, inhale back to chair pose. Just bring the arms out in front of you. Again, stretch the arms forward like you're gonna give someone um, a birthday cake. And then, and then as you exhale, right arm under left, palms together, lift the elbows up in line with the shoulders. Again, stretch the forearms away from the face. So find that broad upper back. Then right leg wraps over left. Toes to the mat, toes hang out in space or toes can wrap around the left leg. Eagle pose, Garudasana. Good, stay with this. Continue to draw the elbows away and just feel the broadness, that space you're creating in between your shoulder blades. Nice, inhale, unwind, step back out, yogi squat. Hips drop, chest lifts. Elbows open up the inner hips, and then inner hips hug the elbows. Just stay with that action for a moment. Again, this is the same action that you want in your Bhakasana. Good. From here, stretch the arms forward. Now we're going to round the back here and then lower the hips down. So we're going into Navasana boat pose. Just like we did on your back, I want you to bring your big toes together and your inner heel. Open up the knees about shoulder width. And then reach your arms in between your knees. So we're taking a seated crow. Press forward, so broaden the upper back. And then with the knees, squeeze the arms. And with the arms, push in the knees. And if you can, add that squeeze of the big toes and the inner heels. Seated bhakasana. Nice. Let that go. Cross your ankles. Take a flow if you want it. We will meet in Downward Facing Dog. Good. Take a moment, check in. And then inhale, lift your right leg up. As you exhale, round the spine, bring the thigh to the chest. Push into the mat, just like you need to push into the mat in your Bhakasana. So scapula or broad on the back. Now step that right foot through. We're gonna to go to warrior two. So the back heel is gonna drop down and spin the arms up. Take a moment here, just feel the body in the pose, check in with the breath. Feel the footprints that you're making on the mat in your warrior two. And with the feet, press down and then create the action of the right foot pulling back and the left foot dragging forward. So again, as you do that, you should feel some muscular contraction all the way up the inseam of your leg. Good, as you exhale, we're gonna to go to extended side angle. Today, just rest this right forearm on your right thigh. Take your left arm, I want you to get a reach forward, palm face, facing down. So broaden that left, the back of your left shoulder. Keep that and sweep it up by your ear. Good, extended side angle. And then inhale from here, stretch it up and back. Take a reverse warrior. As you exhale, spin the palms down, down dog. Good, let's do that again on the left. Inhale, left leg stretches up. As you exhale, shoulders move over wrists. Press into the mat, pull that left knee into your thigh. Right, left knee into your belly. Feel the broadness in your upper back. Good. And then inhale, send it back up. And exhale, step it through, warrior two. Right heel drops to the mat. Inhale, spin up. Good. Again, take a moment. Feel your feet. Feel the footprints on the mat. With the feet, press into the mat. And then create that action of the left foot trying to pull back and the right foot trying to drag forward. And feel what happens to the muscles on the inseam of your legs as you do that. Good, as you exhale, extended side angle. Left arm, just let it rest on the thigh today. Right arm is gonna stretch forward, really as if you're trying to reach for something. So I want you to feel that broadness in the back of your right shoulder. And then sweep the arm up by the ear, extended side angle. 
Nice. As you inhale, stretch it up and back. As you exhale, down dog or chatter on the up dog, down dog. Whatever you would like. Good. Inhale, look forward. As you exhale, step or hop, forward fold. From your forward fold, walk the feet together. So connect your big toes, connect your inner heels, and then from here, drop into a little squat. Knees open up about shoulder width, and your heels can lift off the mat. We're going to take it into crow pose. So, stretch your arms forward in front of you. Fingers are spread wide. And then you're going to take your gaze forward and keep your gaze forward because the weight of your body is going to be moving forward. And I always think it's important to look where you're going. So, spread the fingers wide, gaze is forward. I want you to lift the hips and start to bring the knees up high onto your underarms. So as high as you can bring them. Good. Once those knees connect to your arms, Create that same action of the knees trying to pull in. Maintain that. And then push into the mat, same broadness that you found in your eagle pose. Shift weight forward, maybe lift up one foot. Maybe lift up both feet. Maybe from here, hop back, chaturanga. Or maybe take a child's pose. Really nice, y'all. Wherever you end up, child's pose or down dog, take a moment and check in. Feel the body, feel the breath. And if you got into crow pose today, fabulous. If you didn't get into crow pose today, fabulous. I have good news. No one cares, essentially no one cares. No one cares if you can do crow or if you can't do crow. But the process of trying is really what's fun. Good. As you're ready, bring your knees to the mat. Cross your ankles, lower onto your back. I care, obviously, if you got into crow, congratulations. But... The quality of your life is not going to change whether or not you can do crow pose. It won't change who loves you. It won't change your job. No one's going to give you a raise. From your back, take your right ankle to your left thigh. Let's take a recline pigeon. From here, go ahead and catch your left thigh. And then as we stretch out this right outer hip, um, take this right knee, don't push into it. I want you to use the muscles of the hip to draw the knee away from you. So this is what my knee looks like when my muscles relax. And now it's just subtle, I'm just gonna draw the knee away. Really nice, let's switch that up. Left ankle, right knee. Catch the right thigh. If you, were, if you would like, you can also keep the foot on the mat. Good. And then again, not pushing into the knee. Use the muscles of that outer left hip to draw the knee away from the body. Really nice. Let that go. And then from here, one round bridge pose. Feet plant about hips distance. As you exhale, press through the feet, lift the hips. Good. And then shimmy the shoulders underneath the body, lift the chest. Feel your feet on the mat here. Take a moment, notice your footprints. Notice if your outer foot feels a little heavier than your inner foot or vice versa. And then try to distribute the weight. So big toe side of the foot, pinky toe side of the foot, they're both equally pressing into the mat. Nice, lower down. Take the feet together, recline down to fold, or supta bhakkanasana. Good. 
Good. From here, bring those knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your shins. Give yourself a little hug. And then Shavasana. Legs extend, arms relax by your side. It was a short practice, so I won't be here too long. But you have all the time in the world, so if you need to stay longer, that's fine. If you need to get up and go, that's fine. Either way, I appreciate you watching. not ready to come back, stay where you are. If you've got things to do, go ahead and start to wiggle fingers and toes, start to come back. Take a deep breath, stretch the arms overhead, maybe circle the feet, maybe circle the wrists. As you exhale, bend your knees, roll to your side. And then continue through the palms to sit up. Thank you so much for joining me today for this practice. I appreciate all of you. Bringing my thumbs to third eye center, I bow forward. Namaste.